Hi, my name is Lindsay, and I decided to discuss how excessive social media use in adolescents can have a negative impact on literacy development. Studies show that the average teen spends anywhere from four hours to nine hours a day on social media. This is enough time to travel to another state and back or even get a full night's rest. Another recent study has shown that the average attention span of an American has decreased in recent years from 12 seconds to 8 seconds, which is not very much higher than the attention span of a goldfish. I decided to discuss this topic because excessive social media use can weaken traditional literacy exposure, it creates a lack of intellectual stimulation, and it also weakens social skills social skills. So first I want to discuss how social media use has an impact on literacy exposure. It limits the exposure to traditional literacy skills. Most social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, they all limit the amount of word count or content to their post. Most of these platforms are either solely photo or video based which completely eliminates the need for writing. With the lack of content or limited space to write, such as Twitter, where you have a limited character count, adolescents are missing out strengthening skills to create writing using correct sentence form, structure, and punctuation. Another point where literacy development is lacking is the acceptable use of shorthand writing in social media. The use of LOL, laugh out loud, at symbols or abbreviations, limit their ability to elaborate and deliver their ideas in a complete form. Also, features such as spell check or sentence suggestions give adolescents an opportunity to dismiss applying real effort into learning to apply knowledge to correct sentence structure and spelling. Also, with the excess hours that teens spend on social media and on the internet. These are hours that are not focused towards doing homework, writing papers, reading, any kind of like actual traditional literacy practice that would strengthen their skills. Secondly, social media use can cause users to experience a lack of intellectual stimulation. Social media provides very short videos or still frame photos to mindlessly scroll through. This causes the brain to lack being, any, being stimulated in any way that can increase intellectual development. Extended use of this can train your brain to focus in shorter segments, which could attribute to the overall decrease in attention span among, Mer among Americans in a recent study. Social media and internet use jointly give users access to scan large amounts of information quickly. Unlimited amounts of information are provided at literally the fingertips of users within just a few clicks. Most platforms lack any time of intense, any form of intense writing content. The photos and video based content, in addition to the limited character count that these platforms provide, do not require intense intellectual focus or stimulation. So basically, an example of that would be if I have my iPad or cell phone at my fingertips, and then I also have my Spanish book, and I want to know how to translate the word to speak or the phrase to speak. I could easily pick up my iPad, pull up Google, or honestly, I don't even have to write it out. Translate to speak to Spanish. I found this on the web. And then I have a whole option of different websites that I can choose from. Versus picking up my Spanish book, flipping all the way to the back, finding where to speak could possibly be, and then finding the answer in my book. Unfortunately, it's a lot quicker for people to just pick up the internet who most people I know carry cell phones or some kind of electronic device. 
So they have access, unlimited access, honestly, at their fingertips versus trying to look it up in a book or any type of traditional literacy. Also, it's just as easy to pick up my phone and send an email versus getting out an envelope, addressing it, adding stamps, writing the actual letter, taking it to the mailbox, sending it to a user. Unfortunately, social media and internet, period, create a quicker way for people to communicate, but it also lacks any kind of intellectual stimulation. Lastly, social media use is causing a decline in social skills among adolescents. Social media gives people the chance to create artificial relationships and a sense of false reality. Basically, users can pick and choose which content or aspects of their life they decide to share. Even then, the content that they decide to share can be so edited that it's not even comparable to reality. This can lead to a sense of false identity or a sense that their identity is hidden, which can lead to things like bullying. The quick-paced information and short requirement of attention is weakening writing, listening, and speaking skills. So overall, social media use, while it can be beneficial in some aspects, it can be detrimental to traditional literacy development because again, it weakens traditional literacy exposure, it lacks intellectual stimulation, and it also weakens social skills among peers and adolescents.